What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and I am back for another video. Really excited because I have not done a hair video in a little while. Definitely haven't done one this year so we are starting off with a bang. I colored my hair. I'm so excited. I am in love with the color and I could not wait to share it with you guys. So last time I did a whole salon experience. If you have not seen that then click the link above and check out that video. I got my hair colored in October of last year and I I was in love with it but I wanted to play around with the color a little bit so I went back to the salon and got the color changed I look really crazy right now because it's pretty much been two weeks since I got my hair done and it is wash day time to revert this straight hair back to curly see what the curls are looking like with this new color and post getting straightened for the second time within the last six months so I'm a little bit nervous but I can't wait to see how my hair is looking but before we start wash day, let's take it back two weeks for a quick recap of my experience getting my hair colored again. So as usual, Cassidy did an amazing job on my hair and I will link all of her information down below in case you wanna check her out. But I had a blast wearing my hair straight for the last two weeks. The last time I did my hair, it actually reverted back kinda of quickly because I was in a hot tub and my hair was sweating and that was a bad idea, obviously, but I did it and my hair didn't last that long but this time it lasted pretty much the full two weeks. I actually added curls to it, it had a lot of volume and it was just popping as you guys can see from these photos but now it is time to finally revert it back. I cannot wait to see what this hair looks like on my curls. I kind of got a glimpse of it in the salon but Today we are about to see it full out and I think I'm gonna do a wash and go. All right, I literally cannot wait, so let's get started. I'm using the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water and I'm just going to use this to wet down my hair and revert my curls and then we're gonna hop in the shower for the full wash day. So one thing about visiting Cassidy's salon is that she always gives you tips and information to help maintain your hair when you're not in her chair. And I really, really appreciated that because I definitely learned so much this last time. So I know I've told you guys in the past that I was done coloring my hair and some of you were surprised when you saw my last hair color video because you were like, girl, I thought you said that coloring your hair damaged it so much and you're trying to keep it healthy and blah, blah, blah. And you're right. You're right. Definitely said that, but definitely started getting bored. I just love hair color. But what I learned from Cassidy is that Part of the reason that I've experienced damage from hair color is because I was not changing my routine to fit my color treated hair. So I'm not gonna say that that was the whole reason why my hair got messed up when I worked with that brand the last time because that was extreme. In the past, I've colored my hair and I would color it for years and years and years and then it would get damaged. After a while, it would slowly start to loosen and all of that. But after that experience, it went downhill so fast so I know that that was partly due to the type of hair coloring that was used. But after talking to Cassidy, I realized that there was also more that I could be doing personally to make my hair color experience a lot better. So she basically told me that once you color your hair, 
you obviously need to change your routine duh and as you guys know i'm pretty much a lazy natural i never really go above and beyond i pretty much wash my hair and i apply a deep conditioner in the shower take a bath and then wash out the deep conditioner i never get out and let it sit for hours or go into the dryer or anything like that and she was like girl when you color your hair it's gonna get drier and that's what happened by the way i'm also gonna apply some conditioner i'm using this mazani moisture fusion intense moisturizing mask so yeah she was just basically like once you color your hair it's going to get drier and you need to basically be staying on top of your moisturizing treatments you also need to be doing protein treatments and she was like these little deep conditioners that you're applying in the shower that's not enough at all and you should probably get some better products and just do better overall so she recommended some products to me from her Amazon store and they're basically for helping me maintain the color of my hair, making it stay vibrant and last longer and all of that, but also for helping me get the moisture level up and some protein treatments for when I need to do a protein treatment, which helps me maintain my curls, helps me get that springiness back so they're not dull and droopy and just they lose their elasticity if you do not do protein treatments so i listened to her because my hair definitely got drier after my first time coloring it and when i went to her she also noticed that because when i went to color my hair the first time she was like oh my gosh your hair is so healthy it was just in perfect condition i've been treating it really well but i didn't have to go the extra mile so that was easy but after a couple months of it being lightened with that blonde color it was definitely feeling dry she could see the difference in my ends even though i get trims regularly so i'm like you know what brianna you need to take this seriously because right now my hair is pretty long and i love it but i always seem to get to this length and then something goes wrong and then i do another big chop and i have to start all over again so she was like girl we're not doing that this time. We are going to get it right. You're gonna use these products and work on the moisture of your hair so that we can continue growing it and still be able to have a healthy color sheeted hair. So I purchased the products that she recommended and I also got a hair steamer so that now when I put in my moisturizing treatments or my protein treatments, I can sit under the dryer for a while and let it do its thing, especially for these sections right here in the front these sections have actually been really really loose even before i colored my hair they just don't have any life and she was like yeah that can happen when you're sticking your hair back all the time i always put my hair in a bun in a tight bun and it'll be like that for days and once your hair is like constantly being pulled like that it will tend to loosen out so the protein treatments are hopefully going to help me get that elasticity back and the moisturizing treatments will hopefully help me get my hair to be feeling a bit more moisturized and healthy so i'm looking forward to that but i will definitely share with you guys the products that i'm using and hopefully update you along the journey let you know what i feel like is working for me what i might change and yeah let's see if i can actually grow my hair this time because I want to get it past this length. It's pretty long right now, but this is where I always stop and then things go wrong. All right, so we've gotten one side pretty much reverted and we are going to do the next one. So my curls have pretty much all reverted, thank God. I have not done anything yet, so there's still a lot of product in here and it's weighed down and all that. So I can't wait to shampoo it and really see what my curls are looking like after wash day. Again, this is my problem area that I've had a problem with for a while that I really wanna work on. But other than that, the curls look good, right? So let's get in the shower because I, I just, I can't wait. I need to see what my hair is looking like at the end of wash day after I implement all of the steps that I was recommending. Let's go. 
all right brianna from the future popping in here so this video was previously recorded i got my hair colored this color back in january and it's now june so that was quite a while ago i don't know why it took me this long to get this video up but don't even don't come for me i know it's terrible but i just want to let you guys know that i have been following this routine that i'm showing you right now in this video since i got my hair colored in january so it's been like a good six months and i still love it and i still highly recommend it so the two shampoos that cassidy recommended me were the red can color extend shampoo and the acidic bonding concentrate shampoo and these are the two that i have here now for months i was using both of these shampoos i would start with one rinse it out and then i would do the other as you're gonna see me do in this video but i just wanted to give you a quick update because i actually visited cassidy's salon for a color touch-up about two weeks ago and she told me that i do not need to be doing so much shampooing i wash my hair every week because my scalp gets really sensitive and itchy if i don't so since i'm washing my hair so often she feels like it would be beneficial for me to use a co-wash every other week and then the shampoo every other week so basically i just wanted to let you know that everything in this routine is pretty much the same but as of the last two weeks i am now co-washing one week and then shampooing the next week so you don't have to do both shampoo processes but i know as naturals at the beginning of my journey at least i used to think that shampoo was the devil it really strips your hair it makes it feel so dry and i used to use co-washes only and then eventually i started implementing shampoo again and i just really do feel like shampoo is necessary to cleanse the hair so i just wanted to point that out and now i'm going in with the red ken color extend conditioner so basically that same line that i used for the shampoo but now for the conditioner and again the reason that I'm using these is to maintain my color treated hair and just help my color to last longer. So if you have color, I definitely recommend this. And if you don't have color, you should definitely check out the Redken Acidic Bonding Shampoo just to help keep your hair strong. But I do feel like shampoo is important. But since I wash so much, I am now co-washing in between like every other week, just so you know. But everything else is pretty much the same. And like I said, for the past few months it's been almost what five six months and i have still been using this routine and i definitely love it so after conditioning and detangling my hair i'm just rinsing that out and then we are moving on to deep conditioning look at these curls though the curls came back and i was so 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 happy so this has been the biggest change to my routine since i started coloring my hair deep conditioning this is the mazani moroccan clay steam mask and i love it and i mix it with the jojoba hot oil treatment by queen helene i remember my mom using that hot oil treatment in her salon years and years and years ago so it was definitely nice to add that into my routine and i love that mazani moroccan clay steam mask it's so good i've already repurchased it these products are a little bit pricey besides the hot oil treatment but i feel like they've lasted me really long and they've really helped me with the health of my hair so like i said before i used to just use like a basic deep conditioner in the shower rinse it right out but now i have my steamer so i got this steamer from amazon super inexpensive and i'll link it down below and it is a game changer i don't put the shower cap over my hair anymore i just leave it out but I always, always deep condition every week under this steamer with one of my masks and I love Mazani mask and as you can see the curls are popping the hair looks so healthy it has a really nice luster this is pretty much what it looks like after I get out of I think I rinsed out my hair yes there's no product in my hair right now and it just looks so good and I really feel like deep conditioning has worked wonders for me all right, so I went ahead and washed out my moisturizing treatment and then I did this wash and go and it is the next day and these are my results. My first time seeing this color on my curls and I love it. It came out so nice. I was so happy that my curls reverted back after being straightened because as you guys know, I had just straightened it in October and before that it was so long that I hadn't straightened my hair because I was scared, honestly. I feel like my hair is really delicate especially in this front section it's just been my problem area for years so I did not want to put any heat on it the only issue is this little piece right here and that's annoying but at least it's 
something that's kind of hidden. This routine worked really well on my hair. My hair feels noticeably more moisturized. Before I went to the salon, I was already feeling my hair being more dry, and now I'm so happy that I have the tools and the knowledge to really step up my routine and hopefully get my hair feeling moisturized so that we continue this growth journey. Like I showed you in this problem area of my hair, my plan is to do a protein treatment. This right here is the protein treatment that I will be using and I will link it down below for you along with all of the other videos all of the other products that I use in this video but other than that you guys have seen the products you see my updated routine that's what I will be doing behind the scenes aside from when I try out new products to show you guys I'm pretty much gonna stick to that because I need to get this hair to stay healthy and right now as you can see the curls are looking pretty good I will see you guys in the next video Peace out.